Welcome to October's Leak Code Challenge. Today's problem is minimum depth of binary tree. Given a binary tree, find its minimum depth. The minimum depth is the number of nodes along the shortest path from the root node down to its nearest leaf node. So leaf node is where it doesn't have any children, no left, no right. And as soon as we find that, we want the shortest depth. So this would be two, answer's two here, we can see it'd be five. So I'm going through um, two approaches. There's Basically two. We can go depth first search or we can go breadth first search. And let's start with depth first search. What I'm going to do is initialize a self variable as the, let's call it the smallest number of nodes. And we'll travel the entire binary tree. And as soon as we find a, a, a child, uh, we're going to pass along the number of nodes we've seen so far and then just store the minimum value inside of that self variable. So. First thing we want to do is say, if not root, we want to immediately return zero. Otherwise, I'm going to initialize a self variable and we'll call, this will have to be stored as the minimum, right? So I'm going to start off with the highest number possible, infinite. Next, we'll have a depth first search. And what I'll do is pass in the current node as well as the number of nodes we've seen so far. So um, first thing is if there's not node, we just go ahead and return. And if no dot, if there's no children, if not no dot left and not no dot right, that means this is a leaf. So what we'll do is uh, update our self variable as the minimum between self dot small and the number that we've seen so far. Finally, we want to pass in the depth for search to the node dot left with num plus one as well as the right and you can see that i'm going to take care of the ones where uh, it's going to be null by by this condition here but you can also add it here say if not no dot left or if no dot left then pass it along uh, either one works uh, finally once that's finished uh, we should have our our variable there so we'll just call it root and we'll pass in one since we know that there's a root number and then just return the self.small. So let's make sure this works. Submit that and accept it. So that's step for search. There's definitely better ways to do it than this, but this is the way that I'm comfortable with. Uh, what about breath first search? And really breath first search is probably better because we can just go through the depth and as soon as we find a child we can just return that and not have to you know traverse through the rest of the nodes right so we'll still keep the if not root return zero but what we're going to do is create a queue and we'll add in a tuple of the root and the number one so while there's a queue we will first pop off a candidate as well as the number queue.pop left and we'll say, look, if not candidate left and not candidate right, then return whatever number we've seen so far. Otherwise, we will, if candidate has a left, we will append to our queue a tuple of candidate.left and num plus one, meaning that's however many nodes we've seen so far. That's the same thing on the right. And really, this shouldn't ever have to uh, follow the loop, but just in case, just return, I don't know, I don't know, negative one. So let's see if this works. And it looks like it is. And there we go. So there's two approaches you can go with, breath, death first search or breath first search. Either one work. There are definitely more efficient ways to code it and make it look prettier, but hopefully this explains it pretty well. All right, thanks for watching my channel, and remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.